What is marriage? From the holy scriptures that was read by our dear friends here, we have come to this conclusion, we have this beautiful definition that marriage is divine. It is a divine covenantal union designed by God, not by human. And it is for both partners to fully live out the divine experience and divine purpose for being. Only when both the partners understand the responsibilities underneath God, they will maximize this unique union. Marriage illustrates the character of God. We have a triune God who says that He is love because He is triune. Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Now these are three different persons but one in essence. And so is family, husband, wife and children. God is triune and He designed us to be triune in His image. Lastly, I'll close. There was this little girl who asked her grandma, Ma, Grandma, why is your ring so big and thick and ugly? And she said, this ring is made to last. It is not like how we wear, it's like paper rings, but these rings are made to last. Marriages are made to last. And Diane, Divya is your wife by covenant. And Divya, Diane is your husband by covenant. God bless you both. Here begin at the sixth verse of the tenth chapter of Mark. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are now no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate.
Prasanna Dayan, will you have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only unto her, as long as ye shall both live? I will. Sharon Divya, will you have this man to be thy wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him so long as ye both shall live? I will. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I do. Sharon, you are coming to the, perhaps the most important moment in your life. You've heard the scriptures read and quoted. For this reason, God made them male and female, and the man shall leave his father and mother, and by implication, the woman, her father and mother, and cleave to one another. They shall leave the families that raised them and create a new family. So I'd like to ask you to give thanks to God for your mother, your father, for your families who have raised you to this moment and to say goodbye to their homes as you joyfully come together to create a new home. Would you please face one another? Sana, take her right hand and your right hand, and please repeat loudly after me. I, Prasanna Dayan, I, Prasanna Dayan, take thee to be my wedded wife, take thee to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death, until we are parted by death, according to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I plight thee my troth, and thereto I plight thee my troth. Okay, release hands. And now, Sharon, please take his hand in your right hand. And repeat loudly after me. I share in Divya. I share in Divya. Take thee to be my wedded husband. Take thee to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I give thee my troth. And thereto I give thee my troth. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.
With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. O eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send thy blessing upon these thy servants, this man and this woman, who we bless in thy name. That they, living faithfully together, may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant betwixt them made, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together and live according to thy laws through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, creator of mankind, who only art the wellspring of life, bestow upon these thy servants, if it be thy will, the gift and heritage of children, and grant that they may see their children brought up in thy faith and fear, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord may mercifully, with his favor, look upon you and fill you with all spiritual benefits. Ready, big smiles, ready, right here, say cheese, ready, one, two, three. Hey, I never thought you were.